Okay, so we all knew we had a little left from our piggy. Um, we're going to incorporate that into our next meal, which is going to be stuffed peppers. This is a, a fun twist on a classic meal. Look at those peppers. These little bell peppers. Now, I found these at a picnic. Somebody made them as appetizers. But I thought, isn't it fun to put a couple different ones of these on your plate with some mashed potatoes and make a, a nice meal out of it? Well, it turns out my son, who loves stuffed peppers, loves these little peppers even more. And they have such a sweet flavor that I would rather these any day. And look at how pretty they are. I mean, you get them in all different colors. So we're going to take our leftover meat and rice from our pigs in the blanket. And we're going to incorporate a chopped onion. I lost my knife. So, like, voila, chopped onion. Isn't that a knife right there? This is a paring knife. <laughs> Just cut it. Just do it. I, Just I do it. I prefer using the correct <laughs> knife so I don't chop off my arm. As we talked about. I feel like you should be sharp that knife before that. Um, I sharpened my knife yesterday. So sharpened my knife. Look at, we broke the tip I, off of our knife. I did. I, because I sh we're showing you how to make home cooked meals. And that's what we were doing, making but home cooked meals. I was not making a I home was, cooked meal that day. I don't day. think we were using no. it as a screwdriver, right? I no, don't remember. I was having a busy day and I had some frozen hamburg <laughs> patties, store bought. It was summer. So to clarify, we weren't using it as a screwdriver. I was using it more as um, a pry bar. <laughs> <laughs> pry bar. <laughs> to separate my hamburg patties that were frozen solid. And if you really Folks, need to, don't use do a that. Pry bar. Don't do that. Just, Just go to the buy store. buy a pry bar and Just use the pry bar. Possibly remember to take something out for dinner before your son's football game. You won't have this problem. This is the way my wife chops onions. It's I, not the way I it's chop It's not onions. very professional at all. It's more um, like just leave me alone. I'm chopping an onion. Not, I will. I have never lost a finger. I um, do the Gordon Ramsay version. If you really need to see what that looks like, look it up. I prefer to have my eyes water and really feel like I'm getting into my meal. So the way he chops an onion would not saves be a lot more time than what my wife is doing right now. And I'm sure he would not be impressed at all by the no. way I did any of this. You would get kicked right off. Like, I probably would. What are you, freaking idiot? <laughs> I don't care. We don't care. I, I really don't. You know. I care. Here I she am. Doesn't I'm care. flavoring I my meat just fine. Ever now? Look at look at look at this. Throwing some onion in there. Oh, see, there goes the ice. They're watering. Okay, we're cutting garlic. Cut the garlic. <laughs> I'm cutting garlic. Dogs are barking at nothing, by the way. <laughs> so we're going to throw some garlic in here. We want to flavor the meat a little. I mean, you don't want just like some meat stuffed in, stuffed in your pepper. No, that's not what she said. <laughs> that is what she said. It's always what she said. Don't stuff your meat in my pepper. We want flavorful meat in our pepper. Okay, we're going to flavor the meat with some garlic. A lot of garlic. Again, close. my wife does not watch cooking shows. Oh, no. So she just cuts I just, the garlic. I, just, well, I, I would say it's willy-nilly. I'm chopping it. Whatever. <laughs> Yesterday he told me I sliced garlic very sexy. I don't know. Maybe he doesn't know the difference. Who knows with me? No one ever knows. All right. So let's just mix all that in. Use your hands, folks. Feel your food. Know what you're cooking. Mm. And you think this is nasty? Smells you should good. see me make a meatloaf. She's always touching the meat like that. She always grabs the meat just like that. I, I don't know why. I feel like it could be dangerous. It is dangerous. First and stuff them up. I'm gonna prepare the peppers. I'm actually peppers, going though. to prepare Man. those these for a future meal and I am going to freeze them. Be prepared. I mean, you wanna make a quick meal, you gotta prepare. Sometimes on Sundays we I just spend all day. I really love the color of peppers. Oh, they're the beautiful, aren't out. they? All right, so here we are. The beauty preparing. of these peppers, slice them in half because they are just beautiful little boats. Take the seeds out because nobody likes Nobody seeds. likes the seeds. Nobody wants to eat a seed. And 
We like to save our seeds a lot of times to grow more peppers. We will save these seeds and probably grow peppers. <laughs> grow your own food, folks. It's good for the environment. That's, that's rustic. Rustic roots. Grow it. Know where it's coming from. Porch garden. You don't have a porch. You know, everybody's got a porch if you don't have a yard. You know. I am big fan of porch garden because I can control the environment, the climate. And the I can control everything. Groundhogs. And the groundhogs because we have Darn. groundhogs here. Darn groundhogs. Okay, so we have a really nice pile of pretty peppers. Look at that. And I think we're about ready to stuff those peppers. We are going to stuff the peppers. That's what she said. <laughs> so, I mean... Every pepper is going to have a different amount of stuffing, obviously. You just want to kind of squish it in there really good. Like, get it in. Get it in. Like, you just squish them in there good. All your flavor, your rice, it's all going to cook nice. And, and the thing with these is they're bite sized. So, I mean, if you're having friends over, you can put these out as an appetizer. You don't even need like a fancy sauce. Roast these in the oven with, you know, a little bit of chicken broth in the bottom of your pan. Top these it with are some small peppers, folks. The bite size. This is, you know, top them with maybe different than a cherry tomato and some Parmesan cheese. And, you know, you can serve these as an appetizer, make a meal out of them. I mean, they're so versatile and they're just and we didn't waste we didn't waste anything we didn't waste anything this is leftover hamburg from our piggies we made stuffed cabbage i knew i had too much hamburg but for the price it was worth it so we're putting it to use just like you should if this situation ever occurs with your cooking and i am a fan of watching the reduced produce racks at my local grocery store these peppers were reduced I paid $1.82 for all these peppers. $1.82. So when people tell me they can't eat. They can't eat fresh or healthy. It's all in the mindset. It's all in. What do you know say, how to do? It's eat, learning, experimenting, finding out different ways to do it. I mean, I'm not, I, I'm a busy person. I have a job. I work six, seven days a week. I take care of my house. But it's important to me to make sure my kids are not eating out of a can. So therefore, a lot of Sundays I spend in the kitchen preparing meals for the week. And that's okay, I like it. Not everybody likes it. But it is not expensive to eat healthy. So all these Facebook posts about McDonald's being cheaper than a gourmet home-cooked meal. This is bullshit. This is, this is $3 left of meat left over from Pigs in the Blanket and $1.67 worth of sausage. Or, or peppers, which you can do so much with them. I'm going to chop up the rest and freeze them for, you know, cooking in sauces and whatnot. My eggs. Nothing goes to waste here. So when you see some good produce reduced, don't think it's bad. It just, sometimes your bananas might have a little brown on them. And get a whole bunch of bananas for $1.50 and make eight loaves of banana bread. That's what they're good for. You want them brown and... So shop around, look around, don't be scared to buy the stuff that's reduced. Don't be afraid to shop. That's the just look at look those. Look at these. These are gonna be so peppers. good. So good these are gonna be. I, I would, think I'm actually I would probably me personally put some cheddar cheese on top of these as they cook. I am actually thinking I'm going to grill these. I'm You're gonna, gonna grill them. I am going to put them in the oven and roast them for a few minutes to get my uh Juice is going. Well, and then I think, make for a good video then. I think I may the grill. grill these on my grill. And this is just leftover stuff that we had and from top. our piggies. So here we are with, I think this is probably 15 cents worth of peppers right here. So there we are, you know, 15 cents worth of peppers. And, and that's a meal. Another meal. And filled and... So what are you doing? Making the sauce for our stuffed peppers. Mmm, sauce. Yeah, remember we stuffed the peppers with leftover piggy meat? So we preheated the oven to 350. Preheat. One can of Campbell's tomato soup. One can of water. 
three cloves of garlic, about a tablespoon Italian seasoning. We're just gonna heat it up a little bit to get our juices. Now, I don't recommend using the fork on that pan, but yeah, well, you know, she's doing what she wants to do. Well, we got wooden utensils, but she ain't using them. Listen, the kids already destroyed these pans. I'm just lobbying for new ones, you know? Making sure I get the new pans. All right, so that's heated up nice. Tell us how long we were going to put the piggies in for. They're not piggies, they're stuffed peppers. They're stuffed peppers. No. Sorry about that. No. All right, we're going to pour our sauce over them. Mm. And voila. And we are going to put these in the oven for about a half hour. And the last five minutes, we're going to sprinkle it with some grated oh, cheese. Oh, those peppers are so tender. Mmm, look at the juice. insides of those babies. Get some of these juices and extra peppers. Ooh. It looks like one of those red hot chili peppers. I bet it's not. It's just... Oh, I just want it all. Everything. Mmm. She said it was delicious. If my hands could talk. She said, we could get more. I'm going to take this huge gumbo right now. Mmm.